Hello everyone, I'm doing another kitchen to utility this time and what I've actually come to do is put these uh, filler panels in and the ones I'm doing here, I've got them that go above these units here and I've also got them that go uh, your standard fillers down the side and what I'm quite excited to show you is these little U-scribe jigs uh, the buddy that I'm working for who's doing these jobs, he bought me those as a treat and I thought they were absolutely amazing uh, you know, a fantastic uh, invention um, and I found out that they've been out for years so as usual I'm a bit of a dinosaur so I've used these already they're really they're really cool so I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these um, what I've done here is you take a measurement um, from the ceiling or the thing you want to scribe to uh, down to sort of you can't be the measurement can't be bigger than below the, the line of the carcass so I've made it measured it to around about uh, the middle of the uh, carcass material there obviously if it's if it's a really bad scribe you'll have to um, measure in a few places to make sure but again what I've done here is measured from the ceiling down to the center of the of the carcass panel there and I'm going to rip the my bit of um, scribe material down first and then I'll um, show you what I do with these with these little jigs they're absolutely brilliant right so I've ripped my filler panel down to the rough uh, width, it's about 80 mil in this case, and what I've done is now fix these little jigs, uh, these little um, brackets on the back. Now there's, there's a few ways you can set these up depending on whether your filler panel is flush with the carcass or whether it's sticking forward, and mine's sticking forward in this case, so obviously I don't want to put a screw in the bottom here because you'll see it so they've you know, very cleverly put a hole in the back so you can screw it to the back. Uh, these are matched, you buy these in the right width for whatever carcass material you're predominantly working for uh, with. Uh, in this case, these are 18 mil. So what these now do is, is slide straight on to the carcass there and it holds the bottom edge of your filler exactly flush with the bottom edge of the um, top shelf panel. Or in other words, what it basically is, it holds it down 18 mil the thickness of the MFC material. So once we clip that onto those onto those units there, all we've then got to do is run across the top with a piece of 18 mil um, material, and that'll then when we take the clips off and we put it back in, that'll fit exactly right. Right, set the camera up. Uh, got my bit of infill material here with these um, little jiggy clips on. So let's offer it onto the top of the units, and then we can run the. Uh, the piece of 18mm MFC off cut across the top and get a perfect scribe to this ceiling. Let's see if it fits. It's going to fit. Dream time. Oh, right, okay, so I need to hold my horses because looking at it, the uh, plaster bells out at the top. So I'm just going to ease the top edge of that filler a minute. So be right back. Right, I've just, uh, just eased those. Uh, edges of those corners off a little bit. I got too excited, I should have done that first. But anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's put that up now. And what these little jigs do, these little clips, is they just hold it perfectly uh, you know, in place. Look at that, no hands now. And because of the way that they're sort of designed, they hold the bottom edge of this uh, filler panel exactly flush uh, with the underside of the carcass material. So all we now have to do is make sure that we use, and I've got one here, we just make sure that we use this little block of carcass material. It must be the same thickness as this material that you've put the um, jigs onto, otherwise it won't work. So now what we've got to do is uh, I put some masking tape on this um, panel just because it's got a protective film over it, uh, so it'll take a pencil mark easier. So now a nice sharp pencil, which I've got here, a nice sharp pencil in this little block, and we can just run it across the top there, and that'll scribe exactly the profile of the ceiling. Brilliant. Let's do that. Superb, nice clear line there. So what I'll now do is probably run that over the table saw freehand. Um, so yeah, let's do that. There, I'll 
I'll just show you this lovely line that's been put on here now. Um, yeah, so what we've got is a lovely line, look, perfect, all the way scribed down there, look. So now I'm just gonna cut that. I was gonna do it on the, sorry, I am gonna do it on the table, so I was gonna show you, but it's just gone absolute carnage again out there. So um, I'll cut this down and then bring it back and we'll see if it fits. I'm just wondering if we can actually see down that line. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. See, it's a bit wonky, look. So I'll put that over the saw, we'll cut that, and then we'll uh, see how it fits up there. Right, I've got it, I've cut it, and um, this has come straight off the saw, so no cheating here. What I've also done here, because I said this is, uh, this filler panel isn't flush with the carcass, um, it's, it's standing off 22 mil, so it ends up being flush with the doors. So what I've had to do is put this extra bit of MDF on, uh, which enables it to, to stand off that 22 mil. So, let's get up there, slide it in, and see how it looks. Uh, I cut this on the saw, as I said, I, I couldn't film it because it's just gone carnage with other guys working where I am. So, let's have a look, here we go. Here's where the magic happens. Slides in there, oh, look at that. It's so cool. So, I'm not gonna push it all the way in because I've gotta screw it. So I'm just trying to wedge it in there just to show you before I crack on. Yes, I hope it doesn't fall out. <laughs> It's not in its full glory yet, but I just hopefully you can see that um, it's just hanging down slightly. But hopefully you can see. Uh, obviously, what I've got to do is push that up tight. When I put the screw in here, that'll bring that back tight. But you can just see, look how cool that is across there. Perfect. Again, it's a slight shallow gap because I've pushed it up. When I push that right up, that's so cool. Look. So yeah, I'm really. Been a, let's push that other one there, the fall down. Let's just take that down. Right, so I've just left it up there. Uh, so yeah, um, these are absolutely fantastic. I can't believe they've been about for years. I thought when my mate bought me a set, I think these were about 20 quid. Uh, again, look, you see here, this one is for, you see that, this one's for 18 mil. I think they do various sizes. What we've got on the, oh, on the side here, look. 16 mil, that might sound good. 16 mil, 18 mil, and 22 mil. So uh, they're the other sizes available. So. As you saw, really, really handy and kind of revolutionised cutting in these scribes. Um, so, yeah, just a quick little video. I'm not being paid by anyone for doing this. I just think they're brilliant and I want to share it with all you guys. So, I better crack on and get all these others done. There's loads. Um, I've got the one, one down that side, one down that side. I've got uh, across the top here as well. So, uh, plenty to do. Uh, I've got another one to do here. Superb. So, uh, one thing to check when you're doing uh, the gables like this is just make sure that they are upright obviously because if they've got a bow in um, the scribe will follow the bow. So let's just stick that on there. Ooh. So as you can see these uh, little jigs they're made like perfectly the right size for this 18mm MFC and uh, they've just got a nice friction fit so that scribe there is sort of holding itself on. I don't know if you had a really big wide scribe, whether that would start to, to drop with gravity, but you shouldn't really have really wide scribes. The kitchen design's not doing the job properly. So that's all in position. Now I can just got my little 18 mil block and I'll just run it down again. So I think I might sharpen that pencil up a little bit though. That's gone there. Uh, got a bit blunt, pencil sharpener. There you go, look. Old school, be like, like being back at school, look. Super sharp. That's what you need, can't really see that sharp pencil. Right, let's do that. Oh, that is so easy. Keep it tight to the wall. Down we go. Oh, amazing. And then this kicks out quite bad at the bottom, so really, really handy. Got that lovely line all the way down there, onto the saw, cut that. That'll be another one done. Right, that's done straight off the saw. I put because uh, it's a standoff one again. I put the other little bit of uh, MFC on it uh, so we can bring it out that 22 mil. Uh, I don't know if you can see down that. I don't know if that's going to work at all. You see how um, wonky that cut is. How that scribe's gone up against the wall. So uh, literally straight off the saw. No cheating here. Let's uh, let's see what it looks like. I know it's going to fit because it's awesome. Uh, put my foot under there. 
A superb look. Oh, a bit too far. There, that's just going to hold in place. No, it's not. Let's get a screw in that. I'll get a screw in that first. So you can see, look, really awesome. Look, straight off the saw, literally no cheating. Um, I know it might look like it's off a little bit there, but this is white on white. It's, uh, you know, there's no way to hide there. And I define it once to get it better than that. And if you can, let's see a video on it. So yeah, look, that's super awesome. That's held off that 22 mil. So when the doors go on, they'll all be nice and flush now. So yeah, again, these little jigs, yeah. Uh, Absolutely brilliant. So if you haven't got some, get some. Don't look like an old dinosaur. These have been out for a couple of years now. Really make things easier. Right, another one to do over there. Just make sure when you screw them on that there's no gap uh, anywhere between this jig and the face, uh, and that'll be absolutely superb. So yeah. Um, because these are sticking proud, you put a little fixing through the back, but if they were sitting flush with the unit, you could put one straight through the edge there, you wouldn't see it. Brilliant. Right, one here. Oh, it's in the way of the knuckle. Oh, yeah. More dealt. More haste and speed. Yeah, don't put them in the way of where there's a back plate. If it was a bigger panel it might fall off if the friction wasn't enough to hold them but what you could do and this is completely accidental is you could put the bottom one uh, so it rests on the bottom of the unit so then it wouldn't fall look that's pretty cool so yeah there you go there's a little tip that I've just learned myself so yeah put that one flush with the bottom of the unit and then it won't fall down excellent learning as we go here it's never been so much fun cutting scribes. Look at that. I was so excited to forget what I'm doing. Yes. Oh. You can't be better than that, that's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic, designed and manufactured here in the UK. So if you want to support uh, UK innovation and manufacturing, get yourself some of these, really, really handy. Do them in loads of different sizes. So I hope you found my little uh, demonstration of these uh, useful. They're a fantastic little bit of kit. Um, I hope I've done a decent job of explaining how to use them. Uh, they're really, really versatile and I should be using them a lot. Well, I've used them a lot today, but uh, uh, definitely a fantastic addition to my toolbox. I was just going to put these little uh, jigs back in this box. I noticed there's a couple of cards in here. One's got a sticker look. You scribe jig, the cork killer, uh, quite apt. But um, there's a little card here 
and it's got some details on where you can find them. And also, um, if you leave a review, you get a 15% discount. So that's really good. Cool. Look, uh, thank you, Dan and Scott at Uscribe Jig. So there's the email. Hit them up and get yourself some. Do a review and get a 15% discount. Brilliant. So there you go. You've seen how easy these little jigs uh, make it. Again, only about £20 for a set of three. I'm not saying it's the most difficult job in the world to do without these jigs, but certainly makes it easier, puts it all in the right place for you, holds it all there and gets fantastic results.